the opposite of 3 is a minus 3. So you could read this as a minus 3 or the opposite of 3. But when you say the opposite of x, we will write this as the opposite of x, but don't read that as a negative x, okay? Because sometimes the opposite of x, which is written this way, sometimes this can be a positive value. We'll see that in a minute. When you see this, the symbol here, say the opposite of x. Okay, when x is negative, find the opposite of x. Okay, don't read that as negative x. Say this is the opposite of x. So we have the opposite of x, where x is the parentheses here. Okay, so I haven't changed anything except put a parentheses in there for the x. We're saying the opposite of x, where x is this number here. So this number goes here. Okay, all right, now how many negatives do I have here? One, two. Okay. Two negatives make a what? Okay. So the opposite of x here is a positive four. Okay. Let's go on. What happens when x is zero? When x is zero, what's the opposite of zero? Well, it's just zero. I don't have to worry about that one. When x is a positive number, okay, what is the opposite of x? Well, that is the opposite of the positive number. How many negatives do you have right here? One, right? One. One negative makes a negative. Okay? All right. When x is positive, then what's the opposite of the opposite of x? Okay. When x is positive, what is this? Okay? So before you go putting the parentheses in for x, let's put a bracket for this thing here. Let's use the opposite and then put a bracket sign. Where the bracket is all of this right here. That whole parentheses is the bracket. Okay? All right? So this negative sign right here, we're copying right here. Okay? And then I have my parentheses, which I'm going to write as a bracket. Now inside the bracket is what you have here, which is what? The opposite of x. So I'm going to write the opposite of x. Okay? You had your, this this negative goes right here, and this negative goes right here. Then all I have to do is fill in the x. The x is what? Fill in the 3, and then ask yourself the question, how many negatives do I have? Two negatives make a what? Okay. Now you have the opposite of, the opposite of x when x is negative. x is negative. And I want to know what this is. So we're going to have this sign right here and then put a bracket for all this stuff. You have that sign right here and put a bracket. And now look what's inside this parentheses right here. This sign gets copied right here. The parentheses gets copied with a bracket. Now we have to look what's inside the parentheses. What's inside the parentheses is the opposite of x. So I'm going to write the opposite of x where x is what? Here x is what? You're going to plug what in here? Now, how many negatives do you have? One, two, three. Three negatives make a what? A negative answer.